Hello, dear. You're welcome to Design Slider Tech. All right, so I'm inside a Zoom meeting right now, and I want to quickly show you how you can hide the floating control bar whenever you're sharing your screen in Zoom meetings. To demonstrate this, I'll go ahead and hit the Share Screen button. You'll see all the apps I currently have open, and you can pick any one of them. Does not matter which one, you'll get the same result. For this example, I'll just choose my PowerPoint presentation. Okay, now you can see this floating toolbar that pops up. These are the meeting controls. The problem is sometimes they cover up important parts of what you're trying to show. For example, maybe I want people to see another tab or about the document here, or I want them to see some details, but the toolbar is right in the way covering it. Now, a lot of people just click that little arrow to move the zoom floating bar to the bottom of the screen or use the tiny arrow to move it to the top again. That works, but what if it is still blocking something important that I want my audience to see? So instead of dragging it here and there or pan moving it around, the smarter way is just to hide it completely and then bring it back whenever you need it. There are two easy ways to do this. Method one, come to the floating control and click on more. That is the button with the three dots. Then choose hide floating meeting controls and it disappears. A small notification will pop up saying you can press the escape key anytime to bring it back. The message disappears in a few seconds. And if you want the controls back, just hit the escape key, and there it is again. Method two is for lovers of shortcut keys. Just press Control, Shift, Alt, H. I think the H means hide. Super simple. I use three fingers of my left hand on the keyboard. One for Control key, one for Shift key, and one for the Alt key. Then I use one finger on my right hand to press the H key, and boom, the zoom toolbar disappears. The notification message shows up, then fades out. And if you want the controls back, just hit the escape key, and there it is again. So whenever the toolbar gets in the way, just hide it and bring it back when you're ready. By the way, if you'd like to learn how to allow participants in your Zoom meeting to share their own screens, check out the links in the description below. I've added more helpful tutorials there. If this video is good to you, please hit that like button and save this video for you to easily find it in the future. Also, you may share it with someone who might need it. And don't forget to subscribe for more tech tips here on Design Slider Tech.